Word of the abolitionists' efforts spread, even reaching the slave Frederick Douglass. Douglass had spent much of his youth as a house slave in Baltimore. There, his horizons had widened. He had lived among free blacks, had secretly learned to read. And there, he had come to hope that slavery might not be eternal. Frederick Douglass is probably the best known um, African American of the 19th century, um, was, a, was a slave himself, escaped from slavery, became one of the most eloquent speakers against slavery. It is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. I had seen Frederick Douglass, of course, as an icon, and I guess most, most people have, but I hadn't really um, understood how deep his story was, how, how, how um, amazing his journey was, actually, to the man he became uh, from slavery and, and uh, in that period of the century. But to see a man like himself really rise truly from slavery, truly escape, you know, truly uh, teach himself to read and, and create an industry, become a businessman, become a speaker, and, and basically put his life on the line all the time and live to a ripe old age. Uh, it was just amazing to me in that century, uh, in, in the heart of slavery and in in, in all the oppression that was going on. So I actually couldn't imagine how he was able to, to do what he did and what he managed to achieve and, and actually see the end of, of slavery, actually the abolishment, what he gave his life for. Every slave in the South was then, thenceforward, and forever free. <laughs>